Hi, wonderful family of God. It's another beautiful day and another opportunity to share a little bit um, with you and for me to also learn as I share. I'll try to make today's on quick too. It's a bit on the chill side. You can see I'm wearing my uh, sweater, as we call it, back home. Praise God. And today I, I, I want to share a little bit about the, our duality of citizenship uh, here on earth. If you are born again and what that actually means for you. I'll be reading a few scripture, scriptural verses and then uh, giving examples of what, what that means. Let's dive in. In John chapter 17 from verses 14 to 16. This is what the Master said, our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I have given them thy word, and the world hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. In essence, Jesus himself is telling us that we, he, the born-again ones, the ones who have his spirit in them are in the world but we are not of the world praise god i would explain that further down if we also look at john chapter 18 verse 36 the master also said jesus answered my kingdom is not of this world if my kingdom were of this world then would my servants fight that i should not be delivered to the jews but now is my kingdom not from hence He's saying that in his uh, domain, he just he just told us in the previous verse, previous uh, scripture reading, that he is not of this world, and that we are also not of this world. We are of his world, and he's now told us that that his world is a kingdom, and he's the king of that kingdom, but he's in this world. He's not of this world, but he's in this world. So he's telling us that there are two worlds that are interfacing. And his world is a kingdom where he is the king. So in his domain, he is the king in his domain. And his kingdom interfaces with this kingdom. Prior to his coming down and fulfilling um, the Old Testament or the Old Covenant, it, 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 the kingdom of... It, of the son the kingdom of god had not come down onto the earth but when he came down and fulfilled it the kingdom breached that gap and so the kingdom of god could exist side by side with this kingdom here on earth praise god john chapter 15 verse 19 it says if ye were of the world the world will love his own but because ye are not of the world but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. He's re-emphasizing again, we are not of this world. We are not of this world. Romans chapter 12 verse 2, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. You were chosen out of this world. It's like a, a citizenship. Okay, before I get there, let me just quickly jump to uh, Colossians chapter 1, verse, from verse 12 to 13, where it explains something. It says, Giving thanks unto the Father, which had made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. So the Father himself was the one who qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. You remember this kingdom that uh, our Lord Jesus says that my kingdom is not of this world. The Bible says that the father qualified us. He gave us the qualifications. We didn't qualify for it. He, he qualified us and then delivered us from the power of darkness. From the domain of darkness and translated us. He took us out of that former kingdom we belong to the kingdom of the world and transplanted us or translated us into the kingdom of his dear son praise god now 
if he says that he took you from one kingdom and brought you into a new kingdom and then he says that you should be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that is there was a mindset there was a way you you taught in the world you came from you you are not naturally born into his kingdom you were translated into his kingdom so you came with your old concepts from the old kingdom then you have to renew your mind you have to go into the constitution of the new kingdom that you belong to for you to know what is applicable in that new kingdom what is permissible what is allowable what are your rights and privileges in this new kingdom then you can act within your rights now i want to give an example imagine if you were a citizen of um, what country do I, I use let me use um, you were a citizen of saint lucia beautiful island in the caribbean and then you moved over to canada so to speak and you stayed in canada for a while and you fulfilled all the requirements to become a citizen of canada by the time you got that citizenship of the canadian citizen you were declared a canadian citizen there are certain rights and privileges that are accorded to you as a citizen of Canada in Canada, which a citizen of St. Lucia, who is not a Canadian citizen, cannot, cannot enjoy. Now, if you change citizenship from say, that St. Lucian citizenship and acquire Canadian citizenship, but you don't know what the rights of a Canadian citizen are in Canada, and you meet somebody, an official who knew you as a Saint Lucian citizen in Canada, but is not aware or pretends not to be aware that you are now a Canadian citizen. That is, you don't know the rights and privileges of a Canadian citizen. This officer or this fella can treat you like an immigrant, can move you around like an immigrant not as a citizen he can tell you you are not permitted to work you don't have a work permit you are not permitted to do this you're not permitted to do that because you are an immigrant but if you know your rights as a citizen you can be moved and pushed and shoved around you stand up for your rights and that is exactly what god is telling us where he says be not and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind if you get into that constitution you dig into the constitution you know your rights part of the rights in this new kingdom this kingdom of his son and that you have you are entitled to free health care because it is written that he himself took our infirmity bear our sickness and carried our pains himself by his stripes you were healed if you were healed if he took the punishment for your for your for, for you to be healed he has paid the price for you to be healed that is free health care you can avail yourself of it but if you don't know about it you can't avail yourself of it okay the Bible also says that for we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that him being so very rich became poor that we through his poverty might become rich so in one fell soup, he became poor and took it, it took. In one fell swoop, he exchanged our poverty for his wealth. So he became poor and we became rich. That is part of the constitution. But a lot of us are not really availing ourselves of that. Part of the constitution says that he supplies all of our need according to his riches in glory by christ jesus part of the constitution says that we can come to him boldly and ask him for anything part of the constitution says that we are redeemed from the curse of the law part of the constitution says that when we leave this earth we go to be with him and we're delivered from 
punishment of uh, that is hell part of that constitution says or reads that whatever we lay our hands to do will prosper so if you are oblivious to the provisions of the constitution you will suffer the bible says that my people my people that is those in his kingdom suffer for lack of knowledge they don't know what's in that constitution the bible is your constitution go back into it sit down dust it and find out what your father has put in there for you freely freely praise god hallelujah